In this video we're going to look at the process for moving an iTunes music library from one location to another. Uh, the question to address first of all is why you would want to do this. You might want to do it if you for example have outgrown the capacity of the C drive which perhaps you started with and maybe installed a second drive within your computer or if you've added an external hard drive a USB type device and you want to move your music from the C drive onto that external device. Now you can drag and drop folders obviously but the problem is if you do that with iTunes you'll lose the link between the individual files which play the music uh, and the data files stored on the computer. If that happens you'll end up with a large number of greyed out exclamation marks along these squares here. Uh, if we do it this way you'll keep the integrity between the iTunes music database and the actual files where your music is. It's a two-step process. First thing we need to do is to tell the computer where we would like the new library to be located uh, and the second thing is we have to actually copy the files across to that. So first thing we want to do is go to iTunes preferences and go along to the advanced tab which is on the right and this is what we need to change so click the button to the right there change and then you choose the location where you would like your music to go to I'm going to use this external drive here and I'm going to create a new folder which I'm going to call new music that will now be created for me and there you see we've relocated the media folder to the address we want to go to. Just click OK. That's the first step. You see the library is being updated there. The second step is to actually copy the music across and that's done by going to the file library and then organize library command. And what you have to do is tick that box there, Consolidate Files, and then click OK. When we've done that, it will actually copy the files from the local hard drive to the second location that we've chosen. There you see the process going ahead. Uh, obviously, if you've got quite a large library, it will take a few minutes to do. But when it's finished, the process will stop. The box here will disappear.